Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I am your host, Darth Tuba, and today I have a unique item, okay? One that is um, not something you can get available in mass quantities, but instead you need to go to more creative places like eBay or, in this case, Etsy to find something like this. So here we go. I've already unboxed it somewhat. And I have to be very careful with it. This is a 3D printed Han Solo blaster. Okay? And it is by far one of the coolest things that I've come across over the years. Okay? It is, again, it is 3D printed. Okay? 3D printed. Okay, so it's, it is, and, but it has been hand painted, by, and it's, you know, I think, a pretty awesome replica, okay, pretty neat. Now, I will warn you, there is very little to this that has any automatic, um, <laughs> there are no moving parts to this at all, okay, this is simply a, probably uh, the person who made it got the plans or the program from someone who was you know maybe had something to work with the rec with the original ones but it is a really cool thing you can find some amazing 3d printed prop replicas on etsy i encourage people who are interested in develop developing an arsenal okay to do that so what i'm going to do with this video is right now i'm just kind of showing you the video and then i'm going to kind of show you how i add it to the arsenal itself now i will give you a little heads up when this first arrived, okay, this part, the um, the scope was a little loose on it, okay, and you can and, and if you were to open it up, you know, the way it was came in the mail, I think it just got got loose got loose during shipping, okay, and when the stuff had arrived to me, it it is, was just a little bit broken off. Not a problem. I put a little I put a little crazy glue or like you know an epoxy glue added it to it and it came right in but stayed together and you know it's working just fine okay I, and you know and it does feel really nice to the touch it is very light okay 3d printing technology utilizes the um you know essentially just utilizes uh that's that whatever that filament type of thing i don't think this is resin it's a filament part you know kind of thing and my goodness, the, the amount of 3D printing that's coming out. I got to be honest, I'm a, I predict that in the next couple of years, uh, 3D printing will come the way of, you know, the, I remember back when printing a photo was the most amazing thing in the world. Okay, and printing a photo was, you know, now it's like we don't even think twice about it. In fact, we've kind of gone beyond it where we don't even bother with it. Everything is done on social media. We don't even have pictures anymore. So having something be printed out is very inexpensive, very easy to do. And I wonder how far is it going to be before, you know, Kenner and Hasbro rather um, start to say, you know what, rather than sell the toys, why don't we just sell the 3D printed material? If they ever came out with a like color printing, color 3D printing, which I know that they've been experimenting with, can you imagine that? If something just came out like this, oh, you want a, you want a Han Solo prop replica gun? Okay, here, there you go. And you can make 50 of them. <laughs> I don't know what you would need with 50 of them. Okay, so this is really cool. A great artisan job. Now, this did come with a stand. Okay, so it's going to be a little off kilter here, but if you essentially set it up like that, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Set it up like that, and there it is in the stand. So you can display it just like this, okay, which is nice. But I have a little, you know, you, those of you who've seen my channel, you've seen my arsenal. So I'll kind of show you that right now. And we'll show you how we put this on display and kind of rem to see how it looks scaled back next to the others. Okay, so here's one of my nice uh, walls of arsenal. And you can see this is kind of made up of a mix of things. We've got our... Uh, this is my original Star Wars 1978 prop gun. And then this is one that came out in the 90s using the same mold. That's a Return of the Jedi blaster. And these are some Episode 1 items down here. Along, there's, an, there's another one from uh, Episode 1 or 2, I think. 
a Boba Fett blaster Nerf gun. Here's another 3D printed one with Ray, Ray's pistol. Okay, and I have my little setup here. Here I go. I'll put this baby in there, rest it, and there you go. Okay, has a nice little place in the arsenal. Okay, and it can move things around a little bit and have some fun with it. So here's some more that you can see. Here's some lightsabers. Okay, so that'll do it for this week's episode or this episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. You want to help out the channel. Also, if you want to help out further, you can always check out my Tee Public store. Thank you so much for watching. And may the force and the toys and the props be with you.